Hello, uh, today I'm going to show you how to calculate the integral of e x sine x dx. This integral you can solve using the formula for integration by part. That is integral u dv is equal to uv minus integral v du. Okay, so here I uh, define e x times dx as dv. Therefore, v will be equal to ex. And I define sine x as u. Therefore, cosine x dx will be uh, du. So now you can rewrite this integral as u times v. That will be ex sine x minus integral of v, that is ex, times du, which is cosine x dx. Okay? To progress further, you need to first calculate this integral, okay? So this integral, the integral of e x cosine x dx, you can solve this, it is the same as the other integral that is e x sine x cos dx, you can solve this integral by uh, the formula for integration by part. So here, what I do, I uh, define e x dx like before, equal to dv, therefore v will be equal to e x, and I define cosine x as u, therefore minus sine x dx will be equal to du. That means this integral, you can write it u times v, that will be e x times cosine x minus v, the minus integral of v, that which is e x, times du, which is minus sine x dx. So minus times minus will be plus, will be positive sine times sine x dx. Okay, so, so now uh, we need to substitute this expression into this equation, okay? So this expression basically is the, uh, this integral. So let's do that. Uh, so that means the original integral was this one, the, which was integral of e x sine x dx is equal to e x sine x minus this integral. And this integral, we already calculated, it is equal to this expression. So it will be minus uh, e x cosine x minus uh, integral of e x sine x dx, okay? So as when you compare this term and this term, they are the same. So you can simply bring this one to the other side of the equation. That will be two integral uh, e x sine x dx will be equal to uh, e x sine x minus e x cosine x. But I fact I can factor e x. That will be e x times sine x minus cosine x. I add this constant of the integral as well. Uh, so so therefore here this integral of e x sine x dx will be equal to 1 divided by 2 times e x times sinus x minus cosine x plus the constant of the integral. So if you divide c by 2, it is another constant, so you can uh, still show it by, uh, by c or, or c1. Okay, so that is the solution to this uh, integral. I hope uh, you found this video helpful. Uh, if you are interested, please feel free to subscribe into this channel so you get updated uh, when I upload new videos. Thank you.